and Shelby is over on that far side as well. We are standing him up for now, but he's got the ball into the centre for Joe Allen, who threads the ball through a narrow gap. Johnson can cut in, but he needs to take the ball with him. Slightly unfortunate, work to be done. He's got the better of Robertson this time, and it's played in, looking for Wilfred Bonnie Maguire, heads the ball behind for yet another corner. And if Stoke City can take chances from set pieces, they could well and truly have themselves on the score sheet before half-time. This is their fifth corner of the game. And Maguire putting it behind this time. But Hull once again have to be alert from set pieces. Here it comes, the corner. The header down, Weir can put boot to ball and clear it away. Maloney, slightly strong touch. And Stoke once again have the ball at feet. Jeff Cameron played across to Anatovic. Robertson standing him up, but he's invited a shot down the centre and a rocket of a shot. See Stoke City take the lead, Anatovic. Unleashing a deadly shot, which Marshall didn't stand much chance of saving. And Stoke City have let their pressure count. Robertson just backed off ever so slightly and out of it saw a gap and took it and he had space in front of him looked up and then with the laces struck the ball hard and it flew into the back of the net Stoke City take the lead it's now 1-0 to the Potters Davis manages to catch out and out of it that time who was left careering off to the side of the pitch on the skiddy, su skiddy surface. Henriksen, now he's got space in front of him, he can move forward here, Mbakani, Will Keane dropping off, floats the ball over, looking for Mason! Oh, brilliant! How about that for a strike from Ryan Mason? The angle was tight, but that didn't stop the record signing for Hull, finding the back of the net. Limited chances as well in this half. But the travelling contingent for the Tigers are on their feet. A nice floated ball across. Ryan Mason was unmarked. And then bang. What a hit. What a finish. And Hull are level in this EFL Cup tie. Of course, Hull have only been to the fourth round five times in their history. Could they be making their way there this evening with a goal in normal time or will they need extra time or penalties if they are to do so? This is Weir. Gets the ball into the centre and Hull have snatched it! It's Henriksen and Maloney as well. They were the two targets and Hull City have snatched it right at the death. A lovely ball played across and the 400 Hull fans who are here tonight are the ones who are going to be going home happy. We said that Hull have late goals in them, and they've just proven that point. They've left it very, very late. Stoke looked to have run out of energy. And then Hull, with just a couple of chances, have managed to take one right at the end of this game, a goal at the end of each half. And Hull now have a 2-1 lead. And look as though they're going to be heading into the fourth round.